Hi, welcome to week three of our Photo 143 class. This week we're going to be delving into the world of editing, photo editing, and we're going to be using Photoshop and the whole Photoshop family of photo editing software. Adobe Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, and of course Adobe Photoshop itself. This first little presentation is going to introduce you to Adobe Bridge. This is the entry point for getting into this family of editors. It's basically simply a file manager as we're going to use it, except that it's tied to the other Adobe family. So it's going to allow you easy access to your um, image files. It's going to allow you easy access into the other programs. It's really the simplest way to get going into photo editing. To get to it, open the main Photoshop screen, go to the upper left where the top on the top menu bar where it says file, click on that. The drop down menu will give you a number of selections. Scroll down to browse in bridge and click on that. It'll take a few seconds for it to load if it isn't already up and running. And then you'll end up with a screen much like this one. The places to look on this are, first of all, in the upper right hand corner where we have optional display views. There are a number of different ways that you can set Bridge to display the information. I have it set to film strip mode here because that's just the way I like to work. It's not necessarily the best, it's just what I like. There are a number of other options. There are six in all. There's four showing, essentials, film strip, metadata, keywords, and if you click on that little down arrow, it'll open up and there are a couple of others that you can use uh, to display information about the imagery. Over on the far left side are the folders to browse. Here, just like any file management program, whether it's Windows Finder or, uh, I'm sorry, Windows um, Explorer or the Max Finder, you can drill down, find where your files are, get to the folder you want, and then down in this view, in the film strip view, down along the bottom are going to be the files that are in that folder. If they are other folders, then you'll see a little folder icon. If they're image files, like the two pretty much in the center, then you'll see them displayed as images. If you click on one, it will become highlighted and then will show up in the preview window so you can see what that file looks like. This window will allow you to compare several files at once to get to the one you actually want and when you are ready then all you'll have to do is click on that particular file to open it. Now, Bridge allows you to go in and take advantage of a batch renaming process. So if you have a series of cards or a series of shots that are all of the same thing, let's say you went and shot um, San Diego Bay from Harbor Island. You can go into Tools, which is on the upper part of the screen, hit Batch Rename, and there it'll open up a window like this one. In it, you can give it a new file name. This shot that we're looking at was taken in Alabama Hills. It'll let you set the date created in it. It'll let you add any text you want, and then will allow you to assign a sequence number um, so you can have all of the shots taken on that date in wherever you shot by sequence. It makes it much easier to find them. So to do that, select the files to be renamed by either control or command clicking them individually or click the first one in line and then shift click the last one in line and they'll all be selected. From the tool menu in the toolbar at the top of the page, select batch rename, fill in the fields, on this screen that you're seeing now. Hit the rename button in the upper right of the dialog box and all of the files will be renamed with all of the data that you have given here. 
it's really handy. It's a very good way to keep track of all your files. Whichever display layout you choose, you can click on a file to see it enlarged in the preview window. Here you can see that the shot to the right is highlighted. It's the one that's showing in the window. If we wish to use that file, then all you have to do is double click on the file icon. And when you do, if your file is in a raw format that the version of Adobe Camera Raw you're running will recognize, it'll open that file in the raw converter. That image is going to be displayed in ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, based on the menu options you set into your camera at the time you were putting the shot together. But what's important to know, it hasn't actually processed your file. It's simply following your instructions as to how it should be displayed. It doesn't make any changes to the data in the raw file. Now we'll show you ACR in the next presentation and show you how all of that works. Really, to get started in Bridge, this is all it is. It's simply a file handler that's tied into Photoshop for ease of finding and selecting files to edit. It actually does a whole lot more, and we'll get into that later in the class. But for right now, let's get started simply. Let's just be able to find our file, get into the fun part of editing it as quickly as possible. Now we'll move on to Adobe Camera Raw. If you have some questions, feel free to ask or to email them. And we'll move on from there. Thanks.